How do you solve equations that have variables on both sides of the equal sign? For example, how do you solve for, for x in the following equation? 3x minus 15 is equal to 7x minus 8. In this lesson, you will learn how to solve equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign by using additive and multiplicative inverses. First, let's review. You've already learned how to solve an equation where the x only appears on one side of the equation. So for this one, we need to get rid of everything that's on the same side as x so we can get x all by itself. So first we need to undo that minus 5. So to do that, we need to add 5 to both sides because negative 5 and 5 are additive inverses of each other. So that means when we add 5 to negative 5, it equals 0. So then on the left side, we will just be left with 3 fourths x, and then on the right side, we will get 7. Once we are done with that, we need to figure out what we need to multiply the left side by to get x by itself. So remember that 3 fourths times 4 thirds is equal to 1 because they are multiplicative inverses of each other. So we need to multiply both sides by 4 thirds. When we do that, on the left-hand side, we will just be left with x. And then on the right-hand side, we will be left with 28 over 3. So now we need to check our work to make sure that our answer is correct. So if we substitute 28 over 3 into our original equation, we have 3 fourths times 28 over 3 minus 5 is equal to 2. So to check and make sure that is correct, 3 fourths times 28 over 3, that gives us uh, that gives us 7 because the 3's cancel out on the top and the bottom so 28 over 4 is 7 minus 5 that is equal to 2 so we know that our answer of 28 over 3 was correct now let's say we have this equation 3x minus 15 is equal to 7 minus 8x we are going to use a similar method here but our first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we have one side be dedicated to our variables and the other side be dedicated to our numbers so I'm gonna make the left hand side our variables or our x's and the right hand side our numbers you can switch them if you want it doesn't matter okay so now we need to look at the left hand side we want only terms that have an x on there. So we need to get rid of that minus 15 because it does not have an x. So in order to do that, we need to add 15. So we need to do that to both sides. So when we add 15 to the left side, we will just be left with 3x. Then the right side, we only add that 15 to 7 because we need to add our like terms. So then we are left with 22 minus 8x. Now, on our left side, we only have terms that have x, but on our right side, we want only numbers. So we need to get rid of that minus 8x. So in order to do that, we need to add 8x to both sides. Because in order to get rid of that minus 8x, we need to add 8x because they are additive inverses of each other. Once we do that, we are left with 11x on the left side and 22 on the right side. Now we need to get rid of that coefficient of 11 on the left side and just get x by itself. So to do that, we need to multiply both sides by 1 over 11 because when we multiply 11 and 1 over 11, we get 1 because they are multiplicative inverses. So then on the left side, we are just left with x and then on the right side, we have 2. 22 times 1 11 is 2. Now we need to check our work to make sure we did this correctly. So if we substitute 2 back into the original equation, we have 3 times 2 minus 15 is equal to 7 minus 8 times 2. This is a true statement, so we know that we did the algebra correctly and x really is equal to 2. A common mistake for this lesson would be not checking your answer to make sure that it makes sense. Remember in the last two examples that we did, we substituted our answer back into the original equation to make sure that it made a true statement. Make sure that you do that with all of your algebra, with all of your um, solving equations, because then you can check to make sure that your answer is correct. In this lesson, you have learned how to solve equations with variables on both sides by using additive and multiplicative inverses.